Coriolis force is a term which is used for explaining why storms always rotate in anti-clockwise directions in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Coriolis force is also used for explaining the cause of deflection of moving mass of air and tropical storms towards their right in the northern hemisphere and towards their left in the southern hemisphere. What exactly is a Coriolis force, and how does it bring about this deflection? In marine meteorology, there is a by Ballot's law, which states that any moving mass of air deflects to its right in the northern hemisphere, and to its left in the southern hemisphere. The underlying rationale for the by Ballot's law also uses the term Coriolis force. Why does the direction of deflection necessarily associate with the premeditated side of the moving mass of air regardless of whether the object is going to the north, south, east or west? That is, in the northern hemisphere, why always to the right side of the direction of motion of the object? And in the southern hemisphere, why always to the left side of the direction of motion of the object? How will be the deflection if an object is moving along the same latitude? Or, if the object is traveling from a low pressure latitude to a high pressure latitude? Coriolis force is a pseudo force which is used for explaining the phenomenon of deflection and direction of spinning of a moving mass, or a moving object, to its right in the northern hemisphere of Earth, and to its left in the southern hemisphere of Earth. By Ballot's law and Coriolis force are said to be nothing but an extension of the principle of conservation of angular momentum in the field of marine meteorology. Since, in accordance with the principle of conservation of angular momentum, the angular momentum, product of mass, radius and linear velocity, should remain constant for an object unless some force is applied to it. Therefore, if the radius r is increased, the linear velocity v is decreased. Then v1 is less than v2. That is, linear velocity, v, at larger radius, lower latitude, is less than velocity at smaller radius, higher latitude. This explains why on the surface of Earth the object depicted by green dot is moving slower than the yellow dot object. As radius at the other latitude is lesser than radius at the equator. Hence if an object is moving from a circle of larger radius, that is, lower latitude, to circle of smaller radius, that is, higher latitude, it will suffer apparent speeding up in its linear velocity. A moving mass of air deflects to east as it moves from lower latitude to higher latitude. The moving mass sees deflection towards west as it moves from higher latitude to lower latitude. The direction of spin of the storm is also determined by the phenomenon of deflection of air mass. Anti-clockwise in the northern hemisphere. And clockwise in the southern hemisphere. The movement of wind across the pressure belts of the Earth also undergo deflection attributed to the Coriolis force. The apparent slowing down and speeding up is spoken of as affected by a pseudo force, called as the Coriolis force. Any object moving from equator towards poles, north pole or south pole, regardless, will suffer apparent speeding up, said to affected by eastward Coriolis force and any object moving from poles towards equator, will suffer slowing down said to be affected by westward Coriolis force. Since naturally occurring mass of air always moves from high pressure towards low pressure, the meaning of the by Ballot's law is confined to the pressure belt system naturally occurring on Earth within which air mass always move from high pressure belt towards the low pressure, and therefore such air masses will always suffer deflection to their right in the northern hemisphere and to their left in the southern hemisphere. Direction of deflection of air masses in close vicinity of land is affected by the causes such as breeze effect, 
the skyline due to mountains and man-made structure. Therefore, by ballots law does not apply in close vicinity of land. Some of the other effects which are attributable to the Coriolis force are that most of the deserts of the world are on the western side of the landmass that they are situated on. And the observation that many landmasses stretch in the west direction, and taper on the southern side. This occurrence is said to have come around under the effect of Coriolis force during the continental drift of the southern supercontinent, some 250 million years ago.